Welcome back to the Pizza Tower Noise Update! <laughs> I'd like to think uh, the noise told you to say it in that tone. So I gotta shout everything now, otherwise he'll kill me! Go ahead, give me the introduction the noise deserves. It's a noise update! Come on, I know you can do <laughs> it. Don't make me put anchovies on your pizza. There's a term, don't knock until you try it, but... It's whole fish on my pizza. I don't know if I'm if I'm into that. The main thing I know about anchovies is they are extremely salty. It's that, um, that's that's not welcome to me. I mean, pizza can already be salty if you make it wrong, but that's true. That's true. Yeah. Ooh, this level. I remember this one. The Peppy Bot Factory. So now it's the Noisy Bot Factory. It's still Peppy Bot. Oh, there's still Peppy Bots. Okay. You are going all over the place. I, I, I am, yes. I'm, 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 I'm many places at once. This does nothing for my ADHD, please. <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> See, like, I get easily distracted, but Dave the Diver is a game I could actually, like, perform in. I, I haven't tried that yet, Dave the Diver. There's a lot going on, but somehow my brain can mesh with it. Boom. How the hell did he not die? I think I put that- I put it down somehow. I think by ducking, well, that's I- what? cool. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, oh, so fast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can't- I, I, it's unfathomable how goddamn fast I'm going. Do you know that, uh, chat GPT or whatever? Yeah. So it got me- it got me thinking since we're in the Peppy Bot factory. Do you think ChatGPT knows how to make a decent pizza? <laughs> I'm very curious about this. Okay, so the thing about AI is that it doesn't have any human oversight. Correct. So whenever it does something obviously incorrect, it doesn't have the ability to go, Oh, that's not right, let me try again. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get things that are unbelievably wrong sometimes. Exactly. So, when it has to make a pizza, it's like, Oh, certainly I can make you a, a, a pizza recipe, no problem. First, you take your crust made with flour and, and uh, you know, some of you know, uh, uh, olive oil. You know, toss lightly, you know, to, until it's into a, into a round shape, and then take your, your sauce. Uh, mar uh, tomato marinara works fine, and then you add your toppings that you, you know, you add your... Uh, one cup of mozzarella cheese, and sometimes you can add uh, your own toppings. You can add pep pepperoni, oh, pickle, pickles, rubber cement. Yep, exactly. And dried mothballs. Oh, perfect! I always wanted a kill me pizza. Awesome! Uh, now I have it. Thank you, Chad GPT. I mean, who would add rubber cement to their pizza? Mothballs are good though. Just gotta get them cooked right. I will say the one thing about AI that I think was just a net positive because it was entertaining was that one uh, was that one AI where you put in a prompt and it draws the prompt. Yeah, Dolly. That uh, Dolly, nine that's, different that, results. Well, well, that's all it is now. That's what that's what generative AI is. It, it steals people's stuff and makes a facsimile of an image appear. That's why it's so bad. <laughs> the drawings are so terrible. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. You see, AI is just a novelty, really. It's 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 just oh look at this neat thing that I did without any effort. Ha ha. Well, yeah, and, for and bad they, actors. And, and they expect it to be like this is the future now. This is how we're gonna do everything. AI is gonna do it all for us. I mean, if you're uncreative and dumb. Yeah. I just like it because it was it made funny pictures and funny pictures make you laugh. Yeah, but that's not that doesn't make money. Well, no, I don't want to make money. I it's, just want to be entertained. It's supposed to be the future. The future is now here in the Peppy Bot Factory. All of your pizza made manufactured. Okay. Oh, we are little noise. We are no longer a pizza box. We are now just a little guy with a jetpack. I like a little noise with a jetpack. Look at him. You'll love to see it. I mean, I kind of miss the the flapping nonsense that was a. Uh, Pepino pizza, but this is actually pretty funny. The joy in his face, though. I mean, exactly. Look at the joy. That is lovely. Especially when he goes up in the air. He's like uppies. A little green when he spins. Uh, I mean, this this is a happy noise right here. I can't fault that at all. Ten like out of ten. He went back to his childhood or something like that. She's like, I'm gonna go get some Pokemon cards and I'm gonna win my soccer game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a popsicle and a lollipop and an ice cream all at once. Oh, it's pizza time already. 
Yeah. What? Got a long run back, though. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. That seemed extremely short for Peppy Bot Factory. Cheese though. coffee? Ew! I mean, we are going really fast as the noise, too, don't forget. Okay, what's a bitter cheese that you could add to a coffee and actually make it somewhat palatable? American cheese. No. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely salty American cheese, yes. A good cheese to go with coffee. I can't think of any. Yeah, I can't think of any either. Like, the first thing that came to mind was brie, but that's because I tried brie and I wasn't a big fan of it. That's your answer for everything. Brie is your answer for everything! It was kind of okay. I just don't think I had good pairings with it. Like, I should have had some fruit to go along with the cheese or something like that. I just ate it on crackers, and I was just like, Look at me, I'm an adult! But it just tastes like milk in a coagulated form. <laughs> I, I thought it was better to spread it on something. Definitely. Yeah, crackers... Uh, it needs a complement. Yes. It doesn't exactly need, like, something extremely spreadable, but have, like, a, like a sausage after that, maybe some fruit, and you'll be good. There we go. That's the last secret. Uh. I think this is the first time we found all three secrets this playthrough. It's alright, we're doing a fun one. That's, a, that's how casual this is. Huh? Don't even matter. Don't even matter anymore. No need to spend 40 bucks on pizza when a cool 20 will do. How much do you normally tip your pizza person? The minimum. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm, I'm not fucking made of money, but you're made of pizza. One of us has got to make some sacrifices. I am pizza. <laughs> no, the, I always give, like, a little extra if they actually read the directions I post. Because of all the problems I've had with delivery, if they actually read the notes I leave, I give them extra. Well, you shouldn't give them extra for doing what you tell them to do. For doing their job? They should get paid what they normally do for doing their job. You should pay them for doing an, for an extraordinary job. Like, called you handsome at the, at, at the counter. Oh, or, thank you. Or, 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 like, said, you know, hey, if you, uh, uh we, we, we can offer you an extra packet of Parmesan cheese for no additional cost. Or, hey, that's a lovely cat that you have there. I have one at home. I mean, it's only a couple bucks. But most of the time, it's just like, hey. You gotta earn those couple of bucks in my book. Yeah, I want them to hand it directly to me. And most of my instructions are, it's not the other uh, apartment that has my number, it is <laughs> mine. Oh no, this th this one, yes. This one. And I've also put on there, ask for my ID when you get there, just to compare names. I've only had one person do that, and I was like, hang, there's a couple more. Oh, I missed another one! Ah! You did bit. What is happening? I'm not having good pizza. It's good. Uh, apparently not. That, that Domino's rude. <laughs> it did. It, it did. <laughs> I mean, it, it didn't make me sick. Oh! Snotty! <laughs> oh no, Snotty! What are you doing? It's okay. We can get through this. It's just how it is. Yeah, we can get through this. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. Well, uh. Yeah, pay the woman. Let's, let's pay the lady first. We need to get out of here. Well, we gotta go through refrigerator, 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 dude. Refrigerator. dude. You gotta put them on ice. Is that a Doom sprite? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> For the noise? That's awesome. Ooh! No way. So now he's got the fire spin throughout the whole level! Oh, that just changes everything. That is lovely. He can melt the all the ice now! Just because he wanted to. You don't gotta do it on the run back! Fantastic. Yo, know, that there, uh, that there pizza man making this game, I, th I think he's got a couple of good ideas in the in his back pocket. What do you think? He's got good gameplay ideas, good aesthetic ideas, good artistic ideas. Oops. Fucking sucks! I hate. <laughs> <laughs> terrible game. Awful. Zero terrible, out of ten. Terrible game. Twenty twenty three was ruined when this game came out. And this was good until the noise came out. <laughs> now it's fucking garbo. Fucking garbage, dude. What, what, was, what was it nominated at the Game Awards for? Most mediocre pile of trash. Oh! Oh shit! Okay, can I can I just say, uh, Game Awards going around, you know, <laughs> g giving indies the the reach around and stuff like that is extremely fun. That's that's the best way to put it. Yeah, for uh, well, we can we can actually uh, sweep wins break a little bit now because of that. Huh? Yeah. No, I I better. Yeah, you better do it legitimately. Yeah, I I, I better go back the right way and, and do it correctly. Okay.
my favorite thing about the 2023 Game Awards is seeing Pizza Tower on there, seeing, uh, no, was, was it, oh, it was Summer Games Fest I was thinking of this year, when they were talking about indies and all that. I saw Bellator on there, I saw Buckshot Roulette on there, and I was like, wow, everything else on that list, I kinda know. I think I was just getting into Dave the Diver there. But no noise update for Pizza Tower? What gives, Jeff Keighley? So this is the indie of indie games. This isn't, this isn't like, you know, mainstream appeal. Like, you gotta know, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a secret club. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get into the Pizza Tower. Oh, really? This isn't like Cuphead, where it's like, you know, a universal 1930s kind of appeal that anybody can attach to. This is a specific kind of aesthetic that I think appeals a lot to millennials and older Gen Z people. I'm surprised Cuphead took off. I think it's because it had more advertising. How are you surprised it took off? It's a good game. No, I mean, like, as big as it did. Well, they worked really hard on it, and, and it, it got some buzz. It shows so much how much they worked on it. Oh my god. Yeah, music's great. It's got that challenge aspect to it. People seem to like challenging, well-made games, apparently. That are hard, but fair. Well, I still haven't beat Cuphead, though. Oh, I, I haven't... See, I got all the DLC and all that, but I haven't really played it much since I got it. Which boss hurt you the most? A lot of them hurt me a lot. The B yeah. one was was a pretty particular nasty one. That one sucked. That one sucked. That one really hurt. But because I, I beat it already, now you have to go through all the bosses again on on Switch to go to the DLC. I'm like, you know, I I served my time. I haven't been back. I stopped at the train, which is literally two before the end. Oh, the train! I can beat the train for you. The that train one's easy. Is so annoying, but. I haven't given it a shot since I, like, rage quit it, and most of the time, when I stop playing a game, when I come back, I actually beat the damn thing, so... I just gotta give myself time. Yeah, I have beaten Cuphead before. I can do it again, I just... I don't, I don't, I don't wanna, wanna do it again! <laughs> I don't wanna do it! I've served my time! So you tell me I gotta get an S-rank on all those, uh, platforming parts again, I gotta get, get all the coins again, do all the- I'm not- Man, I don't want to! Warden Cuphead, what the heck? I did what you told me to. Oh, look at Santa. Santa's in the background just going ape. Bad Santa. The bad Santa. Okay, do you know about uh, other countries' traditions when it comes to like Christmas and whatnot? Like you know about you know about Krampus, you know about Santa Claus, but do you know about any of it? Uh, uh, kind of about Japanese Christmas. You know, it's certainly not as evangelical as it is here in America, but uh, France has uh, who they call uh, Père Fouettard. What'd you just call me? Fouettard. Bad Santa. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And uh, I think his his deal is he gives the uh, the parents a stick. It is not coal; it is a stick to beat your kids with. <laughs> they get it. They get it. Yep. Yep. C yep. Christmas yep. for the people. I understand <laughs> that. <laughs> Christmas is for the people. <laughs> Give your parents a stick. So be oh, Jesus. Bad little kids get a stick for their parents to beat them with. Good little parents get a get a thing of whiskey. Yeah. So we get Satan's choice. That means we still get the power of fire. Just now we're even faster. Oh my god, how did you even? How, Yeesh! How did you like did he drink gasoline the first time and that's why he was able to go and I, I, I think it was like just alcohol because ooh it's cold I'll I'll drink the, the the stuff that cartoon characters drink to get all warm and they they get like all fire and stuff you know. Oh God, I've had spicy food while having a bit too much indulgence. Yikes! How 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 can you have spicy food and alcohol? That's that's. It was a bad combination. So that part of the reason why I don't drink alcohol anymore. Yeah. I had hot wings. <laughs> oh. Plus a couple of drinks and I was just like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I should never do that again. You know, I'm glad that people have turned their back on the Ooh. habanero pepper. Yeah, habanero just doesn't do it anymore. It's it's just all heat and, and no taste. So you're a Tabasco guy. I'm a big Tabasco guy. I like I like the sweet heat. I know it's a table sauce, not really a hot sauce, but you know, bite me. Yeah, it's certainly hot enough, at least for me, who's a giant wimp when it comes to hot stuff. It just add, just add flavor. That's all I gotta do. Yeah. I am a proponent of sweet chili sauce. 
I really like that. Because it's got a bit of the sweet, and then it hits you with the heat. Oh, that rhymes. Yeah, 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 a little bit. I like it. But again, it's the seeds that are in that sauce that kill me with the heat. I'm a giant wuss when it comes to that. I, see, I just want, like, a balance of heat and, and taste. Yeah. And habanero, it's it's all heat. Are you, are you saying you're not drenching your omelets into bomb hot sauce? The bomb hot sauce. The bomb. Huh. Yep. Liquid death. Everybody's always... See, everybody on Hot Ones is fine with all the wings. Yep. Until they get to the bomb. It's always the bomb, and, and that tells me the bomb is not only too hot, but also disgusting. One of the, uh, oh, I can't remember which food he was on there, but he he essentially said, this just doesn't taste good. It's just hot. And that is one of the best descriptions of the bomb I've ever heard for somebody who will never try it because it's too much of a wimp. It's just hot. There is no redeeming quality. It is just heat. I mean, habanero is too hot for me, but then I'm just glad that there's been a back turn on that. Now people are doing ghost peppers. I'm like, eh, just, you know, just I'll stick with the... Habanero and Serrano is good enough for me. That's that's cool. Why would why would people go from like it's like oh yeah I got a little French fry and uh, on the other hand a one chip challenge. Nah. What? Yes. No. Um, I even hit my mic for that. I'm so sorry. That probably sounded terrible. Oh, hi Santa. I think you got to put a capsation on that uh, anger there, buddy. <sighs> There's too many scovels. That wasn't a joke. It's just too hot for me! Congratulations on beating another level. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, I just realized, if you put the A rank you got in the middle of the S and P, he's calling you just a very mean thing. A super awesome person! Yeah! Alright, we got our money. Let's turn this in and uh, fight at a boss. This should be interesting. Ooh, that's another wet one. Well, you just kissed me enough to give enough water to everywhere in the Congo. You know what? I don't know why I thought of anything different. It's still it's still fake Pepino. It is. It, except it's more obvious this time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> still about the same this time around. Ooh, he's a grabby boy. Yeah, he is. Grabby boy. Oh, I love that. I love how he just melts into everything. Ugh. This boss, man. This is disgusting. Once again, the Pizza Tower guys might be working on a horror game right now. And given given this guy, I'm I'm, I'm up for it. I'm down. They I got, am so down. They got the aesthetic. I, you know, let's let, let's get some John R. Dilworth inspired shit going down here. See, I love the idea of just an entity that is constantly not reproducing, but just copying itself. It's a big, disgusting mass of whatever the fuck, and it's here to kill you. Oh, wait. Whoop, 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 it's also whoop, fast whoop, whoop. as fuck! Woo, yikes. That was amazing. Good job, man. Woo! Focusing more than I could. Alright, two more hit. Mm. Two more hits. They got his pattern down pat when I got like a, a P rank the first time on my original in my original playthrough. Oh, nice. Oh, and then this. Why? So this is old hat, basically. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> my head! Oh, I lost my head. So are we convinced? Is this is this an alien? Just some kind of thing. Yeah, just, See, a, just I, a thing. I think it's just Pizza Head's way of uh, emulating Pepino's pizza. Yeah. He's like, See, I've got him, so he can make your pizza. We don't need you now anymore. We'll just kill you in a back alley while fake Pepino takes over. And now oh. we're at phase two. Everything's gone crazy. Yeah. I, you. Oh, ah, shit. Ah, damn it. Ah, that would have been cool. Oh, it well. It is fine. It is fine. I. You got to the second half without getting hit. It's all just a fun run after all. Woo! All right, he's going fast. He's going whoa, fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Extra fast now. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. Nope. Nope. Right. Nope. Oh, oh, just butt up. Get the bucket. Bucket. Butt up. There we go. There we go. He all right. just ran right into that. It's like, what if I eat the bomb? Yeah. 
shit. I just realized what the song is. Was it like this in the original? Yeah. Oh my god. Fake, it's pizza time. It's fake Pepino. I love this. We fought fake noise, now we fight fake Pepino. Oh, oh wait! Okay, yep, here we go. Time to run! Time to run! The big dash to the finish! Here we go! You gotta imagine how hard it is for the noise here because, you know, it's so tight. We can do it, right? We can do it. Oh, oh, we can do it. Oh, oh no. My dude. Oh, boy. My dude. Ha, ha. Shit. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, no. We got it. He's catching up. He's catching up. Oh, God. We got it almost. We got it. He seems got it up. No fucking way. All right. We're good. <laughs> no fucking way. You were that close, too, of course. That's fake Pepino! Awesome. That's so awesome. That was totally accidental, right? Getting caught by fake Pepino? Well, I tried to go all the way to the end, but I knew that when he caught me. Damn it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's what that's when I hear like a, that was like the first new thing I heard. It's like, oh yeah, you can uh, scream at fake Pepino when he's running after you. It's like, huh? You got an A rank, though. That's not bad. Like, you were basically one step away from taking the newspaper to his nose. Just like, no! Fantastic, my friend. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry, Snotty. Oh, you oh, I'm sorry, buddy. killed the snotman. How yeah, could you? Yeah, I know, I know. All right. On to the final floor. Over just as quick as the first time. I know. Staff only. Get out! Next time on Pizza Tower the Noise Update. You're hitting to the scariest levels for sure. How does noise treat him? We'll find out. See you then!